So here we have a new Riva speaker, and hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Clayton Pillion, I'm with Microchip Technology, and today we announce uh, a new technology for audio voice applications. Alexa, pause. So even though it was very loud, it can hear you? Absolutely. Uh, one of the advantages of our technology for ABS platform is that the barge in performance is substantial. When you're playing loud music, you want to be able to give it commands and hear it the first time. And that's where we've really spent time to optimize our algorithms and tune it. So are you showing a development platform right here for this? Yeah, so today, today we announced our two microphone far field certified platform for the Amazon ABS system. And this allows you to accomplish uh, very, very uh, high performance audio <coughs> and speech recognition from a great, uh, from a long distance. I'd like to introduce Sid, who's our audio engineer, to give you a couple examples as to what makes us so different. So one of the advantages of the Timberwolf platform is that we're able to do uh, three channels of stereo echo cancellation. Uh, and if it's, if it's going to be three channels of mono cancellation, we do up to 256 milliseconds uh, tap length. Uh, we also do uh, different types of beamformer modes, whether you're in trigger or command mode, and we uh, have different beams tracking noise sources across the room, as well as uh, uh, the person who is trying to speak to the actual speaker. Uh, we use these different beamformer modes to get like a very high signal to noise ratio uh, and make sure that uh, the person who's speaking to it, even if it's 15 or 20 feet across the room, will be able to get it and barge into it. Uh, we've been able to uh, uh, get on the other Riva stadium speaker, for example, which has uh, three different channels uh, upscale from two channels called Trillium Processing, which is their are proprietary those, algorithm. Are those three microphones or not? No. Yeah, so those are the three microphones. Uh, I, you can hardly see it on the camera, yeah. but uh, those are the three microphones that uh, beamform uh, across the room uh, at different noise sources, and you're able to uh, essentially uh, barge in at 120 dB SPL. So not many people in the industry have this? Uh, definitely not. I don't think they have uh, uh, up to 40 dB of echo cancellation, stereo echo cancellation. No, what is I, it 40 dB? Does it mean you take off 40 dB of sound and you can hear the yeah, command? Yeah, that, that's basically it. So when the music is playing, it brings down the music for Alexa by 40 decibels. Um, as soon as I said it, it came up. But okay. uh, you want to shop for decibels? <laughs> Yeah, we can shop for some decibels. Okay. <laughs> so it's able to bring down the music uh, by 40 decibels for Alexa, uh, and it's able to uh, essentially let Alexa hear you without hearing the music. So what's the architecture of this chipset, and, and how big is it? And so uh, it's, it's a StarCore DSP. It has 300 megahertz, and um, that's essentially it comes both in, um, in QFN and uh, WLCSP packages. Because Microchip does many different architectures, right? It supports different, you have, a, uh, you do both, you do ARM chips, you also right. have the StarCore, Right, so this is, this is a StarCore DSP, yeah. uh, and it has our proprietary AccuEdge uh, algorithms running on it. Um, so I think I think the philosophy that we have at Microchip is we try to find the right technical solution for the right problem, and whether it's a specific type of core, a specific type of peripheral, or a tool chain, or an algorithm, we're going to go off and find the right solution and map it into that particular engineering problem. Nice. And you have some other demos showing some of the other stuff you have. Sure. Um, so is is new for Microchip to do voice and stuff? So so yes, uh, this came through us to us from the Micro Semi acquisition. So this is a the voice technology for us is new. Some of the other human machine interface that we've had for some time is, for example, if you look at this, this is a uh, piece of art on your wall, and just by simply wiping swiping your hand in front, you can change the type of artwork that you have displayed. You don't physically have to touch the, the device. So where's the sensor? How does it know where your hand is? The sensor in the, it creates a field um, inside this matting behind the pitcher, and it can generate the, the change that your hand makes through the field. Is it similar Did you have in the Sony speaker right here? It's our three-dimensional gesture to where you don't physically have to touch the device. That's awesome. I hope it's showing up on the camera. Yeah. But oh, there you can. So basically, you just by swiping a little bit, turning around, you turn up the volume. It's gonna be very loud. Yeah. And then uh, right here, you have some touch going on. And then this is your more traditional, you know, touch technology. Mike. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Too fast. And uh, what's going on here? 
And what you see here is some of our secure authentication products. So uh, often um, you buy a, a nice branded product and then sometimes there's a low cost knockoffs that are sold with it, but they may not meet the same quality requirements. So by using some of our authentication technology, it allows us to ensure that the <clears throat> batteries or the medical dis uh, dispensing device or the filters for your other products, that those are authentic and there's our OEM and they're gonna give your company a, a solid brand and you as a consumer a, a safe experience. And this is with the PIC 18F? Uses a, a PIC microcontroller as well as our SHA-204 uh, authentication chip. And uh, here's some uh, stuff to do with six low pan. Right, so we have a, a six low pan uh, device here. It's using our secure element, the ECC 508, along with uh, an RF 233 transceiver, and as well as a, a few other products from uh, from Microchip to. Nice. And here the CS, you, you, you have many other, a uh, few other demos over here, mm -hmm. but uh, the CS is the Consumer Electronics Show. You're just showing some specific new new products like. Uh, like the, the voice. So we show a wide range of, of, yeah. of products here. We show uh, Connected Home, uh, which is where we are t right now. We have the Connected Factory, and we have the Connected Automobile. So this is, those are the areas that you have around here? In, in, yeah. in, this is just the Connected Home location. Across the hall, we have our Connected Factory and our Connected uh, Automobile.